Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Chefing It Up with Antonia, and today we are going to be making the famous spaghetti. So first, what I'm going to do is open up my noodles, and I'm going to start to put that in the pot. I already got my pot, and I already got the water, and right now, I'm just going to turn on the stove. So to heat up my water and I'm going to break the noodles in half so they can all fit in the pot and I'm going to make sure that the pot is heated and I'm just going to drop those in there like that and I'm going to continue to do that with the rest of my noodles as shown. Alrighty, now that I have my noodles in, I'm going to stir and I'm just going to add some more noodles in. Make sure that I even it out and I'm going to break it and I'm going to add it in, stir so they don't get, um, you know, mixed up and sticky. And I'm going to get the rest of the noodles and I'm going to break them up and just stir it and make sure they're nice and even so they can boil properly. Alrighty guys, so now I got some onion out of the fridge and I'm just going to cut these onions into some small slices because I'm going to use these onions to add inside of my ground turkey just to give it, you know, a little flavor. So I'm just going to dice them up into some small pieces. Make sure you do it on a cutting board and yeah. Alrighty guys, now that I have my onions all diced up, I'm going to turn on the stove and now I'm going to go and get my ground beef so I can add that to the pot. And now I'm going to make sure my pot is heated and I'm going to make sure to check on my noodles, stir them up, make sure they're boiling nice and even so that is what I'm doing. Make sure it's all good. Stir, stir, stir. You want to make sure that they're nice and even and that they're not sticking to each other. So that's why it's also good to stir your noodles while they're boiling. Not too much, but just to check up on it, you know? Alrighty, now on to the ground turkey. So I'm going to get my ground turkey. I already turned on the stove. And I've got my pot heating to prepare for my ground turkey. Right now I'm just taking off the, the rest of the plastic off of the ground turkey. And I'm going to get my spoon. I'm just going to get all of that in the pot. And start steaming it down. Make sure I throw my trash in the trash. And I'm just going to, you know, start to steam it down, get it all in there before I add my onions. Just going to stir it up in there, as shown. Because I wanted to get a little brown before I add my ground, sorry, before I add my onions. I want the ground turkey to be a little bit brown not too much on the raw side. So whilst I have my ground turkey steaming, I want to make sure to check on my noodles. I turned down the pot a little bit. It was on high, so I turned it down so it can finish boil. And I'm still stirring up my ground turkey to get it a little 
little bit brown. And now I want to throw them in the garbage. And now I am just going to continue to steam it down, make sure that it's on the brown side before I add my onions. Alright guys, so now that my brown turkey is starting to get brown, I'm going to now add in my diced onions that I diced. Make sure I get it all in there. And now I'm just going to mix all of my onions inside of the ground turkey to give it some flavor. So now I'm just mixing it as shown. Make sure I get all that in there. And the other thing, I did not add any seasoning in my ground beef because the sauce that I'm going to be using has a lot of seasoning in it already and that's going to give the ground um, turkey a lot of flavor so that's why I didn't use it but the sauce that I'm using is prego meat sauce I highly recommend that you get this sauce it's amazing it's so good so tasty and it's very enjoyable so now I'm just going to add that inside of my ground turkey all in there and if you're wondering ground turkey is way more healthier than ground beef so if you want to be on the healthier side i recommend you get ground turkey but anyway i'm just going to stir in my sauce i just want that to simmer all in there get my ground turkey all in there and just mix it up make sure your pot is on medium because you want your sauce to simmer with the ground turkey it's going to give it a lot of flavor as it simmers down. It's really good. So all you're going to do is just stir that up. Keep stirring. And also, my noodles are done. I turned it off. So you don't want your noodles to get to the point where it gets really soggy. So when you see that it's on, you know, a good, it's not too soggy and it's not too, you know, raw. That's how you know your noodles are perfectly done. So I highly recommend it you try that um, but like I'm saying I'm just stirring it all up make sure I get it all in there make sure your pot is on the medium because you want that to simmer down and yeah so I'm still stirring up my ground turkey and sauce you want to make sure that it's stirred really good and it's all in there so I'm continuing to stir it up and now I'm going to turn my pot on low and get the cover and cover it up and let it simmer Alright guys, this is the aftermath. This is my food. It looks yummy. I'll show you guys how it looks on the plate. Alrighty guys, this is the aftermath. I hope you enjoy watching me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!